We're joined by Masai College. They just completed play in the 12th game of the 2016 NCAA Division III Softball Championship. And it is the first team to qualify for the best of three championship series. We are joined by third baseman Brooke Pompeo, pitcher and center fielder Courtney Allen, first baseman Aaron Cressman, and head coach Amy Weaver. Coach, talk about today's game, please. Sure. I mean, these guys played incredible. I'm so proud of them, so proud of their effort. Um, I, I honestly feel like they left no doubt. Hitting, fielding, the defensive plays out in the outfield were amazing. I mean, they just left no doubt that they deserve to be here. Coach, if I were to tell you that coming into it, not only would you be in the championship series best of three, but you did it by doing it the easiest way possible, <laughs> playing three games and winning three games. <laughs> tell me a little bit about that feeling for you right now. Well, it's just exciting. I mean, we know that that's the best place for us to be, but there's no guarantee. Every team here is a good team. It's going to be a battle the whole way, and these guys rose to the challenge. I mean, they just showed that they want it, that they want to battle for it, and that's what they went out there and did. Let's start with the basis of any championship caliber team, and that's pitching and defense. Courtney, <laughs> start pitching first right now, four and a third innings to get the victory today. What was working out there for you to be effective against Rome? Um, well, today I, I was able to trust myself, um, so I could trust my spins, uh, spinning the ball out on some of the big hitters. But really, honestly, the, our defense was what made us successful in those first four innings. They crushed the ball. They really hit the ball hard. Um, but my defense made incredible play after incredible play after incredible play. So they get all the well, <laughs> kudos for that. <laughs> well, it's not just a they, because I think then you went into center field, you turned your back to the infield and made a diving play out there to, to not only help yourself, but also help the new pitcher that was in there. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that play, because at the time, I believe it was a 6-1 game, and that would have been a two-run double had that yeah. one fallen in, so completely changed the face of the game. Yeah. Talk, number one, about making the play, but two, the impact that it had on the game. Yeah, so before the play, um, I was talking to myself quite a bit because I haven't been in the outfield for wow. a, a long, <laughs> like the regular season maybe. Um, so I was just saying I'm going to be aggressive. Wherever this ball is, I'm going to catch it. If it's back, I'm going to take a good angle back. If it's forward, I'm going to um, hustle in and make a diving play because we're going to stop at all costs. And I knew the girl up to bat, her name's Ashley, she like crushes the ball. So I had a good feeling it was going to be a hard hit, so I was back and... Um, just trying to make a good play for my teammates. Well, let's talk about crushing the ball on Aaron. You did that first <laughs> yeah. three run home run. Talk about coming into the at bat because we didn't have anything on the board just yet at the time there, and you decided to go ahead and change that and put a crooked number up there. Talk a little bit about it afterwards as well. Yeah, I was just looking for a good pitch to hit, and I was looking for something out that I could drive to the right side. And uh, she gave me a nice pitch, and I was all over it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you were. And it was a pretty exciting moment, you know. So it was a lot of fun. Talk about how pr proud you are of the offense of this team, because not only you're scoring runs, but you're scoring runs against the caliber of a team like Rowan. You did it twice against them, two times nine runs, so 18 runs combined against a team like that. Talk a little bit about your offense here in the tournament so far. Our offense is great. We're a hitting team. We can hit one through nine. Everyone can hit for power and. Um, and just to drive the ball, and it's it's great. When you're up there, you don't feel a lot of pressure because you know the person behind you is going to step up and uh, pick you up if you don't get it done. Yeah, Brooke, they say offense is contagious, so you must have the flu. <laughs> yeah. You hit the first that's home great. run, you hit your collegiate career, I believe, today. Yeah, <laughs> Talk a little bit about that feeling. Um, it was pretty cool, obviously. <laughs> um, they, the whole uh, beginning of the game, they were pitching a lot out to me, and I wasn't really hitting it really solid so um i really like the inside pitches so when they threw one inside i just went with it and there's really no better place to do my first collegiate <laughs> career home run so that was pretty awesome it was a great feeling so not sure if you uh the players have heard the schedule just yet but tomorrow we're only going to have one game it's going to be the if game that's going to happen there so you have the day off right. before you get to come play talk a little bit about from a player's perspective that situation but then knowing that the next day you get to play for a national title right so um I think we do well as a team, just staying together, being able to still stay focused on an off day like that, um, since we're not going to be here day after day like we have been um, working, but I think that's a good time. Um, Coach really focuses during the season on mental game, so I think that's a really good time for us to sit down and focus as a team, just what we're going into and the opportunity that we have and how incredibly amazing this is for us. And Coach, we'll continue to look ahead as the final question here. You've got, you know, the two teams you could face. Don't know which one yet, mm -hmm. UT Tyler or St. John Fisher. Talk a little bit about them and what you would expect from a best of three series against them. Sure. I mean, it's going to be a battle. Both teams are great teams. They were battling each other. Um, good pitching out there. Um, good hitting. Um, 
Luke St. John Fisher hit a home run today. We know Texas Tyler is capable of hitting the ball very well. So we know we're going to have to come and show up with our offense as well. So we'll come and we'll battle like we have all year. Well, Brooke, Courtney, and Aaron, and Coach, thank you very much. And good luck in the best of three national championship series. Thank, thank you. you.